hello everybody i am all bundled up i'm out in my building and um wanted to share with you guys some um crafting things that i've got coming up for you some super um exciting and fun and most of all easy crafting for you um to have some new things in your repertoire for your crafting that is not expensive to do and it's like all inclusive of what you need um but just to let you know it is um magnolia design company and you may have may not have heard of it before but it is stenciling and paints and things like that that is so easy to do um one of the little stencils that came in it is called love bug this is the um little package that came as the valentine package and just to show you um how easy this is it comes just like this and it's screen uh screen printing on here to where it is like um it has like a really easy good feel and it is use it clean it and reuse it and clean it and reuse it so um it's a lot of bang for your buck and not a lot of stuff like having to buy a machine to cut a uh, vinyl and things like that this is super easy super easy to do um and other ones that came like you get multiple you can use it just like this or um you can uh, cut them and use different ones for different items. So just to let you know that that's there. Um, the surface that I'm going to be working on tonight is like a, a chalkboard surface. And um, it has like this sheen to it. But I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that. And we're going to use the chalk uh, paint on that with the stencil. And it has the little wooden piece that you can put it um, right into. And I'll show you if I can get my hands traveled down here on here. Well, fiddlesticks. Let me put it down. I'm trying to do it with my hands not doing that. Okay. But you just push it down into the little wood block. And it is a little wood block and um show you how that would look like this okay and i'll show you how we stencil on this and with the chalk um you actually can wipe it off and redo it for another occasion so say for instance if you wanted to do valentine's and then with saint patrick's day coming up it's really easy to use this um and also if you want to do things like if you're having guests over and you wanted to write on this or have what each dish is, that's also a good idea for this. Um, these are just some little fun hearts that you can stencil on. It comes in white, pink, and red. This is another part of the um, Valentine program that um, is there. So let me just do a quick craft with you um, tonight. And like I said, I'm gonna do the love bug on here so that you can see what this looks like and i'm going to face this down um, i hope you can see everything um, i've got my computer up over here um, and i'm not sure that it is showing live i'm going to refresh my screen and then i'm going to point the camera down so that we can be sure um, yes actually it is up and running so i'm going to do a quick craft tonight show you how simple this is this is the little wood block the little chalkboard sign i'm going to use the love bug stencil and i'm going to use the chalk paint and it comes in these little tubs so you can see like this is the black and this one is the red and this one is the white now um i'm gonna use the chalk paint so that you can use this again later um like i said you just clean it off and you can reuse it but no, the ink is permanent and we'll do a craft with the ink 
um, another time but for tonight we're just going to use the chalk paint so that you can see you just spray it with water and wipe it off and it's ready for another occasion so I'm going to point this down so you can see what this looks like as I do it and if you will give me two seconds let me grab my little dish Okay, sorry, I had to grab these. <laughs> these are so cool to use. Um, they come in little uh, multi-packs. And um, then that way you can have several colors going at one time. So tonight I'm going to have the white and red so you can see it on the black. But this is just like the little plastic tub like this like little plastic containers for your paint so I'm going to use two colors and I'm going to point this down so that you can see I'm going to take it out of the um, and y'all I'm going to tell you I look like a hot mess tonight there is no tired like teacher tired after <laughs> <laughs> after Valentine's Day when they've been all hyped up on, on chocolate. So let me point this down just a little bit more and make sure you can see that. Okay, I think you can see that if you're having any trouble. Um, if you have ever heard of Magnolia Design Company, let me know. Um, but I'm just going to show you how easy this is. It just comes on the little white piece here. And after you have cleaned it and you put it back um, and let it completely dry, let it dry with the sticky part up because this is sticky. Then after it dries, you just replace it back on the little white um, piece there that holds it in place. But then all you have to do is decide where and what you're going to do this on. And you just place this down. I'm going to move it up just a little bit so that I can make sure that it will clear that wooden piece whenever I put it in. All right, and then what you want to do is just use your fingers and push it forward like this, okay? And what you're doing is just making sure that there are no air bubbles. It is as simple as that, okay? And then I'm going to take my red and it comes in these tubs. I'm, I'm opening this so you can see exactly how yours would come. Comes nicely sealed. P.S. You can also paint the wooden piece. If you want this a color, you could paint that um, white or whatever color. We have like a huge wide range of colors. I'm going to use my fingers to pull that. And I always make a mess. I don't know if you're, uh, let me know if you're crafters. Comment in the little comment section. Let me know, are you crafters? Um, and if so, what's your favorite craft to make? I'm going to put this off to the side. Okay, pull this little piece off right here. But I'm a messy crafter. I try not to be. <laughs> um, okay, and then I am going to take my little squeegee. And this is the little squeegee. If you can put butter on toast, on bread to make toast, then you can do this. There's, um, this is super easy. You see it's kind of got this little pasty kind of consistency. I am just going to put a little bit in this tray because you don't want to use too much. And in fact, it doesn't take a lot. And I am going to use a little bit of this red. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do my ladybug red, okay? I'm going to do my ladybug red. I'll wait and do the little white head. And you literally just put it where the little screen printing is. And you'll see whenever we take this off what this will look like. Um, we also have like the little pins too. Um, I'm going to get some on the corner there so I can pick that up and make sure all of it is covered. It's just like 
just coloring with a, a spatula is kind of what, like what it's like. And you see it does not have to be perfect because whenever you do the big reveal, you'll see that that's going to be so pretty. All right, I'm going to do the other little wing and turn it around so I can manage it a little bit better. And tell me if you like crafts. Would you comment in the... And have you ever done crafts? Or are you intimidated by crafts? Or what have you done in the past with any kind of crafting? Now, I know that the ladybug is supposed to have like a black head. But I'm just going to do this because, like I said, I can, I can just wipe this right off. Grab up a little bit more of that red. And make sure all of that is nice and covered. Okay. And I'm going to do the, like I said, I'm going to do the white body. And I'm just kind of coloring that in. And I think I'm going to do bug in red too. And you don't have to, like I said, be perfect because that's what your stencil's for. I hope my hand's not in the way. So you see that? All right. And I'm just going to wipe this off. And you can totally put that back in when you are done. Okay. You can put that back into your container. I'm going to get my little towel here and wipe this off. And then I'll pick up the white. Okay. All right. I got that cleaned up. And I am going to grab my white. And like I said, this is chalk uh, paint. Um, if you've ever used chalk paint before, I'd also like to know that. And what that is, is it's like what a lot of people use for the furniture. And it's not like chalk board. It's not like what uh, a chalk, a piece of chalk. You know what I mean? It's, um, this is so much nicer once you don't <laughs> have to open it up. But like I said, y'all. Messy crafter here from way back. Okay, put that right there and wipe my fingers off. And I have so many crafts. I'm so excited to show you how to do this. Um, to do, and I it's not going to be just stencils and things, uh, tea olive home and crafts. There's going to be just all kind of things that I want us to do together. So I'm going to get super quick and messy. And you don't have to worry about, like, the only thing is you don't want to push down too hard because it can make it go, um, like, it'll squeeze underneath and won't have a nice crisp edge is what I'm trying to say. Oops, I almost put that in there. All right. I'm going to put this white right there on the little bug. And like I said, I totally know this is supposed to be black on the ladybug, but if you have a white surface, you can um, do it differently. And I will get much better at this too, because I'm teaching as I learn as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do the little bug part there. And the V, and then the E. And, you know, like I said, you kind of have to work a little bit fast because you don't want it to dry too much and have your little thing of water nearby. Okay, you're going to scrape off the excess. Just take the side of your squeegee and take off the excess. And you can put that back in your little container. And we are going to do... A peel and reveal. I'm going to grab it up on this side because I have so much on my fingers. Okay. And then you just take it up. Hold the side. I'm going to hold it with my clean finger. 
and look how cute that is. And voila, you have your little love bug. Now don't worry about that because like I said, it is um, chalk paint. So you can take a little bit of water and just wipe that right off. And you can do this for the seasons. I'm gonna put this right back here. You can do it for seasons. It goes right into the little wooden piece here. I'll show you that. And I'm not wanting to mess it up. If it was dry, it wouldn't be a big deal, but I'm gonna put that down in there. There we go. And there you go. Like I said, if you want to paint the little wooden piece, it is so super easy. It is quick and mine is not perfect, but that's the whole beauty of it. It doesn't have to be. I'm gonna slide this on down in there. And then like for St. Patty's Day, um, you can use St. Patty's uh, colors and um, stencils. And even like the stencils that you see here, I'm gonna put this on its side so you can continue to look at that. Um, you, you think about even like for weddings, um, this would still be totally appropriate, even though it's like the Valentine line, the soulmate, love, um, let's kiss, kissing booth, like you can just think of like a million uses for this. But let me know if you are interested in finding out more information about this craft um, and about Magnolia Company and design. And I can tell you exactly how to do this. And like I said, all I've got to do with uh, this, even once it's dry, is just spray it with a little bit of water and you can take your little cleaning sponge and wipe it off and have it for the next occasion. Now, if you want it to be permanent, I'm gonna put this back up so I can talk to you. If you want it to be permanent, all you have to do is put some of the varnish, the clear varnish on it, and that will keep it um, permanent. Um, and then also the ink. So if you use the ink, is the permanent ink and it comes in like a huge variety of colors um if you use this on like shirts you can do the stenciling on um like t-shirt designs and stuff like that and i will be displaying and showing you how to do that um then all you have to do is iron it and it becomes permanent if you put it on ceramics all you have to do is put it in the oven i can give you those directions as well and uh bake it and it becomes permanent on the ceramics. So I am in love with this stuff, um, simply because it is fast, it's um, quick, it looks professional, and it makes great gift ideas. Um, so this is like our first craft together as T. Olive Home and Crafts, and I cannot wait to show you more. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you think about it and what you'd like to see in the crafting uh, departments, okay? <laughs> um, I know most of you are very familiar if you've been following me with the handmade um uh, pot holders and things like that. So I have so much to share with you. I can't wait. We'll be doing ornaments, getting ready for the uh, Christmas season ahead of time so that once it comes Christmas time, we'll have that all fixed up. Our next crafting is going to be getting ready for Easter though. Um, and I have a gorgeous, gorgeous stencil for Easter. Um, and I'll give you a sneak peek at that pretty soon, too. So thank you so much for joining me tonight. Let me know. Give me some comments. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you want to see. If you have questions about what we did tonight um, or how you might want to um, share this with your friends and earn some, you know, credit to shop uh, or how you might even want to do what I'm doing to get yours at a discount because I love to craft and as we all know you go through the craft store and whenever you get up there it's like a lot <laughs> and um, I'm not real big into selling my crafts as much as I am I love to make and give um, but you can totally sell these too so but anyway thank you I had fun this is um, like I said I don't look cute at all tonight <laughs> <laughs> totally.
so just so tired from my day but i hope that this brightened up your evening and thanks again for joining me again i'm terry hall with t olive home and crafts and i look forward to sharing more stuff with you and having fun to make some really cool crafts good night